Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another tutorial from Roberts Productions. It's not really a tutorial. What I'm going to show you is a little cool feature that you could use. It's a cool site for creating some word art. It's pretty awesome and uh, it takes like no time at all. Um, it's faster than doing it in Photoshop or Illustrator. So let's go to the site. It's Wordle. Dot net w o r d l e dot net and it's a basically it's a toy for generating word clouds from text that you provide the clouds give greater uh, greater prominence to words that appear more frequently in the source text which means that um, if the word <laughs> Taylor is a porn star okay well well it means um, if the word is more frequent in your text, then it's bigger. So like if you're writing something, I don't know, love, you put love like 35 times and love is going to be like all over. And uh, you can tweak your clouds with different fonts, layouts, and color schemes. The images you create with Wordle are yours to use however you like. You can print them, save them to Wordle Gallery, or share with your friends. So I'm going to create some and uh, just click it right here create your own you can type in a bunch of text I'm just gonna type blah oh my god blah <laughs> and control C V V V V V V okay and maybe one more word let's see um, vote it's the first word that came to my mind so click uh, go and it might not work out right because I didn't put any space so it might think that it's just one big word let's see generates it a few seconds with like hardly no work at all and hardly no work at all okay Let's go back to create and instead of doing blah 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 I'm just gonna type in something stupid like um you know um I am currently high okay and period okay click a go and there we go it's a cool looking word art word See, I can't talk today. This is the second time I've done this video because um, before I kept saying word something else, but I'm trying to say word art. And so there it goes, word art. And uh, you can probably do it on this site a lot faster than you can in Photoshop or Illustrator. But uh, I know Photoshop and Illustrator, you can create and do a lot more things with your text and make it look like so much better. But this is the simplest, easiest way for anyone who's not a pro at Photoshop or good with Photoshop or Illustrator. This is an easy way to bunch up your words. Um, you can change the font. I mean, you can change Sex Smith. What a font. Um, you can edit. You can choose a language. Change your layout. Also select different color schemes and custom colors. Um, and you can randomize it to, to make it over, over, over and over again. So, and, uh, the truth to that is no, I'm not currently high. Okay. If I was, I'd be seeing colors and, um, um, well, you know, I, I wouldn't know. Okay. So that's all. You could also save it to your gallery and you know, all kinds of stuff, but, um, that's, that's basically it. Hopefully this video helped you out. Maybe you can use this sometime in the future. I know I will. And if you're on YouTube, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I know I haven't made any videos lately, but uh, I got updates in all my software. Um, so uh, now, now I'm good to go. You can check out my Mexican Idol. Uh, YouTube.com slash DJ Beto 267 DJ B E T O 267. Check out my Mexican Idol. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but uh, just to let you know, I am half Mexican and it's pretty cool. Um, 
a couple people wanted me to make this video, so I did. Uh, they give me a, they give me a suggestion. That, that was pretty cool. So I made the video Mexican Idol. It's not as good. I mean, it's funny, but it's it's not how I really wanted it. I think I need to add myself singing as well as some other YouTubers. If uh, you have a video to upload of yourself singing, you can post, post that as a video response to the Mexican Idol video. But anyway, um, yeah. So, once again, you know, rate, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. Hope this helped. I'm Robert from Robert's Productions, and until next time, take care. Where's the F10 button? <gasps>